Hi everyone, my name is Ankit and uh, I'm the managing director at Pratham. Now, uh, for on my previous YouTube video as well as a lot of questions that I'm answering on Quora, I'm getting a very common question which is that a child says I'm weak in maths, how do I crack DUBMS? Now, that's a very very important question and might be relevant to a lot of students who are writing the DUBMS. Now, when you're talking about math or how we know it as quantitative aptitude, first it's very important for us to understand what is it coming Right, so you'll have basic 10th level maths that will be checked along with 11th and 12th mathematics checked. Now, 11th, 12th maths and quantitative aptitude, 11th, 12th maths is per se different. Why? Because 11th, 12th maths is where you have to write steps. In the entrance exam, you just have to mark the right answer. Right now, it is very difficult to say that a person will be weak in maths. Firstly, you have to identify right the uh, topics that you're weak at now how do we do that right on any mocks that you've given right mocks that you an analyzing the mock is very very important now uh, the first pr pr primary level of uh, analyzing the mock is that how many corrects did i get how many wrongs did i get and how many non attempts did i do in each section quant verbal logical reasoning and awareness, right? So you can pretty much divide the quant, how many are right, how many are wrong, how many are non-attempt. Now then, further analysis should be done in quant, how many rights, how many wrongs, and how many non-attempts for each topic that you, in quant that you've encountered, like time, speed, distance, right? So, or mixtures and allegations, all right? Or permutation, combination, or probability. Now, when you read a particular question, you can identify which topic is it, figure out how many corrects have we got, how many wrongs are we getting, and how many non-attempts of a particular topic are we doing. Now once we have this data, we will be able to understand which is the section that we are getting maximum of our questions wrong at. And that then start becomes a working point for how do you improve your particular topic. And that's how we improve each topic and work towards it. Now when we talk about quant, please understand this paper does not require you to have look, to clear sectional cutoffs. You can clear the overall sectional cutoffs and figure out that you're getting through, right? So if it's a 400 mark question paper, a good score to get, so they should be around 300 or 275 to 300. Now quant, we can expect a difficult section. So out of the 25 questions that we're getting, around 15 to 17 questions is what we need to get right in the first go. The other thing is, apart from identifying which topics of maths are we weak, we also need to know how we are able to identify the easy questions and whether and the difficult questions. Now before you attempt a particular section, it is advised that you skim through all the questions in the beginning so that you are able to figure out these are the topics that I'm very very comfortable in and this is the question that I'll be able to answer and certain topics and certain questions when you read you understand that okay this is something the, the logic for cracking this question is not coming to me so I can skim it. So the idea is that you are able to identify the easy questions first in not just quant but verbal and English and awareness section also. First the idea should be to do the easy questions and maximize your score. Once you have done the easy question then we move to the next ones which are the medium or the slightly complicated ones and then there are obviously in any section that you have there are certain speed breaker questions which are essentially made or put into the paper to identify to break your flow or your speed of answering the question. Now, when you are able to identify, there is a complicated question you not be able to get to the logic or a question which you think is got extensive calculation. And these are can be identified as speed breaker question and should be not attempted by the students. Right? For out of twenty five, I'm saying fifteen to seventeen is what you need to do correctly. Right? If you're very very good at it then the number should be about 20 to 22, right? We are not here saying that we have to get all 25 questions right. No, we have to get 15 to 17 questions right only that we can figure out the convenient sections that we are good at, do those questions from those, uh, those topics only or identify the easy section, easy question from the section and then do those first. Right, I hope this answers your question and I wish you all the very best for DUBMS. Thank you.